Hello everyone, this is 13 Plo Kunify reviewing the T6 Jedi Shuttle. It has 389 pieces, its set number is 7931, and its ages 8 through 14. It came out um, Christmas Eve, and I bought it Christmas Eve. I actually received it about a week ago, I was just too lazy to get around reviewing it. Well, first off, we have the minifigures. Here we have. Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Clone Wars. He's very common. You see him a lot. His blue eyes, special hairpiece, and dull chrome lightsaber. One sided torso. There he is. And next we have the most commonly minifigure around is Anakin Skywalker. There he is. He has his special hairpiece, blue eyes, dull chrome lightsaber. One sided torso. And this set was actually first supposed to have Quinlan Voss from Hunt for Zero. So I would, and Anakin came along and took his place, and I would have thought that they should have kept Quinlan Voss. But fortunately, Quinlan is going to be coming out in one of the newer sets. So you'll get the chance to buy him. And here we have the all brand new. Sassy Tin. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He has green dull chrome lightsaber. His face is very... It's actually kind of scary. That's his face. Here's his special headpiece. Let me get it off. There it is. This is just one piece and these horns right here are rubber. So the rubber, they're not plastic, they're rubberish plastic. They break, they would break off easily if they were just plastic. They would have been long gone. Nice detail. This is the back of his head. And next we got my personal favorite, Shock T. She's the same species as Ahsoka. I'm not sure what the species name is. She's much older than Ahsoka, that's why her tentacles are much longer. There she is, she has the dull chrome lightsaber. This is her face, it's red. Let me try to get her headpiece off. Hold on, put the camera down. Okay, here is her headpiece. Now every, around the tips of the tentacles are rubberish, just like Sassy Tin's headpiece. They'd break off very easily if they were just plastic. There's her forehead right there. There's the top of it. Very nice, I think. They did very well with the minifigures in this set. Alright, now we're moving on to the actual set. Here we got the Republic six, uh, the T6 Jedi Shuttle. Now what I like to do is count the stickers, and there's not very much, but I still hate them. So that's a sticker. There's one sticker. Two. Three. Four. And five. That's a sticker. I thought it would be printed actually, but it's actually a sticker. And this cockpit viewport right here is printed. I like that feature. So if you just take this off, it just comes off like that. It's no flip open. Here you got the control panel. And you see, I like to sit Sassy Tin behind the pilot seat and Shock T right here. But with Shock T, you have to take your cape off, and it's just too much work for Shock T. So I'm just going to put, well, I took Shock, Shock T and Sassy Tin together. I'm just going to put Obi-Wan, oh, Obi-Wan goes right here. Okay, there's Obi-Wan. And 
I'm gonna do Anakin. Anakin. That's stuff. Anakin. There it is. Well, you get the picture. They both go right there. Now this cockpit is actually an escape pod. Just in case the ship is damaged or anything. So let me just try to pull it off here. It's, it's, it's easier with two hands, but I'm holding the camera with one hand. Alright, here we go. So there's where it connects. And here is the cockpit. Alright, there's the back. There's the front. Side, bottom, top. It's a nice feature. Well, it's actually a very random feature. They probably just threw that in there. No. This is why I need the tripod. Oh, well, that's good enough. Okay. And the wings are very big. Bigger than I thought they would be. They're about as big as my hand. So it's 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 bigger than you think. And one of my favorite parts about it is this giant gear. I didn't think the gear would be that giant. It's very big. Alright, so I turn this around. We have three engines back here. And if I let me put it in flight mode real fast. Okay, here's the T6 Jedi shuttle in flight mode. Okay, it's very nice. And this in the front. Now these two, every, en every engine except for the middle one is a flick fire missile, so if you push this right here, that comes out. Here's the flick fire missile. You just stick it in here. Okay. Let me put it back in landing mode, and this time hopefully you guys can see it. So just put it like that. And here is actually, it's not landing gear, I call it the kickstand. Like a bike, because without it, the T6 just goes, pops forward. That. So you need to put that up. Let's pull it out. And you just you have a steady ship. All right. Um, what else is there to show you? Well, all in all, it's a very good set. Here, let me show you the box. The box is very big, relatively. Very big box. Here's some descriptions. Building toy, 389 pieces. Jedi T6 shuttle, 7931, ages 8 through 14. Lego Star Wars. The new logo with Captain Rex. Here's the minifigure slot. New Saucy Tin and Shock T. Zandikin, Obi Wan, uh, Saucy Tin and Shock T. So I guess Saucy Tin and Shock T are left handed. Alright. Here's some features. This shows you how it gets from landing mode to flight mode. If I turn it around here, there's some more features. Landing mode to flight mode. Sassy tin getting into the cockpit. Actually, yeah. Okay, there's the flick fire missiles. Escape pod. Sassy tin. Here they all are in one group. And there is the T6. Alright, here's some new ships. The Bounty Hunter gunship, which I recommend you getting. It's very cool, it's one of my next ones. Battle, and, Battle of Naboo, which I recommend you getting. It's very cool, it's one of my next ones also. And the Imperial V-Wing, which you can get if you want, but I'm not going to get it. It comes with a really cool new astromech droid. R2Q2, he's a chrome. Here's Here's the side. 
I'm gonna go Star Wars 7931. Uh, different languages. It keeps telling you that there's new Sasi Tin and Shakti. There it is in this little picture. And this is what I have to use for its landing pad because I have no room for it in my room. All in all, this set is very, very good. I gave it 10 out of 10. If you have the money, buy it. It's really, really nice. And it's a great addition to your Jedi Army with Sassy Tin and Shakti. So, this is 13 Clo Kunafi signing off. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you later.